Welcome back, guys. I've just spent the last uh, two, three hours, uh, about three hours, uh, decorating and, and tinkering around with little things. Uh, in this episode, we are going to put in an island hopping railway, it's, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. But I've got to say, this is looking beautiful now. I've spent a lot of time um, getting this, this coastline and this riprap all, all set up, and the same over on the, the one over at New Rataman. I did have a comment, which I wanted to um, talk about. Uh, somebody saying, saying, like, I can't tell whether you're joking or serious saying that birds are bad. And, um, yeah, I'm dead serious. Birds are very, very bad around airports. And um, airports go to, like, quite extreme measures to keep birds away from airports. I mean, not just, like, keeping trees away. Um, they will, they'll use sonic cannons uh, they'll broadcast um, recordings of predator calls to scare birds away. They use other kinds of noise generators. They use um, some airports use lasers at, at dawn and dusk to simulate uh, predators and scare the birds away. And um, they'll use uh, trained falcons to fly those around the airport to scare the birds away. They'll use um, trained dogs to to like go around the terrain so that the, the birds are, are fearful of predators so they'll, they'll stay away uh, they do all kinds of things and i tell you what if you if you if you don't think bird strikes are dangerous google bird strikes there's been um, there's been a real uptick of bird strikes recently so so go check that out right uh what have i done the the only kind of serious thing that i've done is to put the uh transport route in from honkelbriff over to the airport and I've put this little turnaround bit in which I thought looked nice I like that so let's have a look at this little route so what I did I already had a bus route that went from the the, the train station out into the city uh, and let me show you the stops as well so there's a there's a couple of stops there's a stop at Temple Street and a top stop at Nathan Road uh, and what I did was extend that line so that people can catch a bus. And those two stops give us coverage of the entire city. We can get uh, people on a bus and then they can go either to the railway station or pick up people at the railway station. Then it goes round here. I've put in a stop down here as well, uh, which, uh, which picks up this industrial area. And then we go out to the airport. And I tell you what, look at this. Not bad at all. This this line is making a very nice profit. Lots of people traveling. And um, we've got, f yeah, look, I mean, look. How's the airline doing? You know, I thought this airline wasn't going to do very well. But I'm now thinking, oh, my God, we're already turning a profit. Over 50%. Well over 50% full. I've run this on for about a year, probably 18 months now. So oh, I'm really, really pleased with that. That's working really well. Look at this. I'm going to get half a million on this airline. Beautiful. Love watching the planes take off. Let me watch, watch this one take off. Let's watch this one take off. It's so awesome. Oh, uh, we did get um, a... a a C forty nine Sky Train. Oh, we've got the I've oh, got the tow boats now. Oh, those are kind of cool. Definitely want to use those. Um, yeah, we've got the um, the the C forty nine Sky Train, which is um, it's it's a variation on the uh, on the DC three uh, for cargo. So we'll have, we'll have to do some cargo at some point. But this is uh, this is you know what I may need more buses on here. There's so many people. Man, I was not expecting that. You know what? Let's. Um, I'm going to add a couple of vehicles to this. Wow, that's very impressive. Uh, manage vehicles. Let's just clone a couple of these vehicles, and um, clone. Boom. There we go. Cool. Yowzers! Awesome. I, I'm really loving how Uncle Brip is turning out. I'm really like liking how this map is turning out. That there's, there is potentially so much more that I can do. I'm loving it. All right, should we get onto the island hopping railway? Let's get onto the island. We want to build some stuff, don't we? So, right, we go down here to Alex Town. <clears throat> I'm going to pause the game now. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to run it on because there's a train in an unfortunate place there. 
Let's run that on a little bit. And that'll do pig. Right. <clears throat> We're going to run uh, a railway from Alex Town out here across these islands up here. And then it's going to go to Wobbly Town and it's going to go to the island of Sass. I'm going to use that little bit there. So we'll, we'll split the train there and there. Um, but Wobbly Town, this island just isn't big enough. Right, so we're going to do a little bit of messing around here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rip out this um, this bridge. God, man, the game's getting a little bit laggy. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of this because we're going to need like a, a road bridge and a rail bridge going up here, and it's all going to be very congested. Hi, oh, God, this is laggy. Oh, now now it's speeded up. All right, good. Uh, you know what? While I'm doing it, and while it's being quick, let's rip this road out, because it's going to have to go. There's, there's no question about that. Rip that road out there. I'm probably going to have to move this farm. We'll see. Okay, having done that, let's go to the terrain. And you can see, I, I was just, <laughs> I've just been doing the riprap. Oh, let me show you the, this one over here. Looking, looking pretty nice and tidy. I spent... I spent ages on this. I actually had to redo it like four times for various reasons. So I am a bit tired of putting it in now, but hey, okay. <clears throat> my throat's really scratchy today. Sorry about that. Um, what am I doing? All right. Okay. So what I want, um, let's get, let's use that brush. I think I want strength up to max. Okay. So let's extend this terrain out. Now let's see. I'm going to take the terrain from the terrain height from about there. And then we're going to fill in this um, this section over here. And this is quite expensive. Not as expensive as something else that I'm going to do, but So let's fill in Now let's see, how, how extensive do I want to do this? I'm going to take this out a little bit further. Create some room for poor old Wobbly Town. It, needs, it doesn't need to be bigger. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is move Wobbly Town down here a bit. So I think um, I'll take this out even further into this area. There we go. Alrighty. Now we've got a bit of a chance. Okay, let's um, switch to the terrain tools. And we'll just soften the coastline a bit. Come on, gang. Catch up. And there we go. Alrighty. And probably want to do similar kind of similar kind of thing on this side. Create some nice beaches. Let's face it. I mean, if we're doing tropical islands, it's all about them. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Makes you want to go on holiday to the Seychelles or something. I've always wanted to do that. Never, probably never ever will in my life. But hey, it is what it is. All right, let's. Uh, bit more smoother out around there. Now, this bit, do I want to keep that bit? I think I'm probably going to keep that bit. That's fine. And I'm kind of to just raise this up just a little bit. So I think let's grab this and just raise this up like that. And then just soften it. Come on, come on, gang, keep up with me. Come on. There we go. Just a little bit higher. I might I might I might do that again actually. So let's take it from say there. there. Bring this out. Right, it's just a touch wider. A little bit more uneven. And then do the same thing again, so. Soften the line there. Come on, gang, keep up, damn it. There we go. A little bit more there. And I 
just want to get rid of these rocky bits. Oh, come on, go away. Right. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. All right. <clears throat> Having done that, we can now get rid of Wobbly Town. So I'm just going to get rid of the whole thing. That's going to cost me six million to do that. Am I going to do it? Yeah, I am. Uh, confirm destruction. Boom. Right. Then we're going to go to towns. Now, if you, I've had a lot of questions about how do I move the industry and whatever. If you add sandbox mode in um, when, when you're starting a game or, or when you load a game, if you go into the mod section. In the vanilla game, the developers have included a mod called Sandbox Mode. And you just activate that and then you'll get the Towns uh, and Industry tabs. So, Towns. We, uh, we'll make this, let's see. I think we'll make this small or me. It was tiny. So, I, I, might, I might jump this up to, I don't know, medium might be a bit big. Yeah, let's keep it small. It's fine. Um, I'm going to make it completely random what it's going to generate. And then where I'm, now the question is where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it there. I want the uh, I want the train station um, kind of in here. So maybe, maybe over here. Yeah, let's put you there. And it just builds a new town. And of course, it's built one that wants fuel. <laughs> oh, come on. And that's actually quite a nice layout. But hey, 10 million to get rid of that. Boom. Let's try it again. So. Okay, now it wants um, uh, 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 tools and uh, construction materials, which is cool. And you know what? That'll do pig. What's the, uh, what's the RCA layout? Oh, actually, that's pretty... Uh, no, that's going to require some training. I do want the, the industry over this side because I want to blend it in with this uh, fuel refinery, hopefully. So I want, the, I want the industry over there. But I want the commercial over this side by the railway station. So all, all of this residential I want on the coasts. So I'm going to have to do a lot of training for that city. This is gonna be this is gonna be blooming awesome, right? Let's um, let's trim out these excess roads, and I'm gonna put in my first railway station. So what do I want? This is definitely gonna be a terminus station. We'll have two platforms, even though I probably only need one. In fact, I, I would go so far as to say I only need one. But like, what the hell? Um, so I think orienting it something like that. Boom, in you go. All right. Now we also need one over here on the Isle of Sass. Now we do have a bit of a tram thing going on here. So I reckon maybe we should link up with that. So let's see. The, the train's going to be coming in here. Um... Man, that's going to be it's going to be kind of tricky. I mean, like easiest way to do it would be just to align it like that, which which I totally could do. Um, but I don't know. I I kind of I'd kind of like it aligned more this way. You know what? I can, no, I can do it. I can do it. I could do this if I flip this around like this. And have this kind of in there, say. I want to come around and touch my, There we go. There we go. So if we put that like that. Boom. In it goes. And then if I modify it. And add. Where are we? Uh, miscellaneous. And just put some of these steps in. It'll create linkages to this. So that people can just get like straight on and off. So let's put, let's put one in there. You can see the blue line that it's created and there we go let's put in another one there cool uh now am i gonna have you know what i might have some i might have some on the other side as well we'll put one there and we'll put one maybe right right off this end or maybe there all right cool right we've got a couple of stations going woo and there was much rejoicing okay so we have got to go over there. 
<laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. All right, now we are going to do uh, a bit of engineering of the of the terrain, but not very much at all. So the things that I am going to do, I am going to do things like um, flattening a route out to the coast. And let's extend that just till we get kind of to the edge. And then I want kind of a bit of a, I get a bit of a promontory kind of thing there. Yep, that'll work. That'll work very nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out a little bit. Like, come on. Like that. And then... You know what? I'll put the tracks in and then I'll soften it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that now. Like, don't talk about it. Do it. Tracks, high speed. Uh, Catenaries, no. Hooray. So we are going to go out, kind of like. It's going to be a slow entrance to the station, but do I care? No, not really. Uh, so it's going to be like that. So what I'm going to do. Is create a bit of track like that. Have that come into the station. That go out like that. Double track it. Boom. Right now, um, am I going to do this first bit? Oh, shall we? <laughs> it's kind of tempting, isn't it? Let's just flatten that out. Oh. Oh, how tempted am I to keep that now? Now that I've done it like purely by accident, oh my, I'm, I'm really, I'm really tempted to keep that. I just want to, and just engineer this a little bit like that. There we go. Right. All right. Well, let's let's see. Let's see what this does. So if we just run this track like dead straight out here, and I do want this to run straight if I possibly can. That's going to be kind of cool. I think we want this elevated, though, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, I think so. So, let's have, let's have a little bit of elevation going on. So, what I want to do... Oh, go straight. What I want to do here is have this go up a little bit. I don't want this huge. I, I just want it elevated a bit. So, if we run that up like that, And then bring it out to here and say go go f ah no go flat. So it'll go up a little bit more. Is that high enough? I don't think it is. Let's take it back a touch. Now, if am I going to be fussy with this? Oh yeah, because let's face it, this is all about the looks. Let's take it up a little bit further. And then flatten it out uh, like that. Okay. And then let's see what that creates. Now, we want this to be one of these bridges, I think. I tell you what, that's actually... Ooh, the, the, the pillar placement there isn't too bad either. Now, ships can't go through here, but... There's, there's no, I don't think there's any chance that any ships are going to want to go through here. So I'm going to keep it kind of low key. You know what? I'm taking that. Boom, you're in. Let's double track it and see what it looks like. Man, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> God. Uh, every time, every time I like play the game for a while and I think, eh, I've kind of done anything, everything. I come up with new things to do that, that re-excite me to the game. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Alrighty, now uh, down here, this is pretty straightforward. It's just gonna, it's just gonna curve around there and curve into there. The issue's gonna be like getting it across there, and so I'm, I'm wondering about having this like elevated. I'm just wondering whether I want like like bridge elevated or whether to just have it elevated. 
like like this but I want it elevated you know I might try and keep it at this height so let's let's sort this bit of track out here so you would come I, I want this to come straight across here probably as far as even there and then this is going to be a, a relatively slow corner but I don't mind that Maybe I'll, I'll bring it back a touch. Let's go to there. So if we did it to there, then this could come around like this kind of thing. And we want to be pointing like there. You know what? I can live with those speeds. So that'll be like that. Then we want this going straight, ideally like that beautiful let's do the double track god this is fun this is you know what this is one of the most fun bits of track laying i've done in the new game this is kind of awesome i love the way it creates this scree effect on the side of the tracks all right so having done that we now want the other one to come round here so this is going to now, I could do a flyover or something, but I really don't think it's necessary. So. <laughs> this might take a bit of playing around with to get it exactly the way I want it. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, I still like it coming a bit further up. I want it to be kind of, I want this to be more in the middle of here. Oh, that would work. Potentially. Right, now, this needs to be pointing, like, dead straight up here. And that look that actually looks pretty good. You know what? I'm going to take it. Now, the question is, what does it look like when I put the other side in? Have I got myself nicely centred? And the answer is... Yeah, I could have come over a fraction, but you know what? I can live with that. That's fine. And then, if we come out str oh, that's perfect. That is blooming perfect. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Oh, you know what? I couldn't have done that. I don't think I could have done that better. Looking good. All right. And then, does that give us a, a nice enough slope? Yeah, that's fine. I think. I could have taken it back a fr I mean, pfft. how far back would it go? Let's, uh, let's just see. If we did that. Yeah, that's actually better. I would prefer that. Let's go with that. And it goes into there. B-E-A. Beautiful. Now, I am going to need a road going up here as well. How I'm going to do that, I've no idea, and that's a problem for another time. I'll, I'll probably end up like widening this slightly and have the road coming along the side there. You know what? Shall I do it? Go on. Go on. I'll do it. So let's say we want a um, uh, medium country road. So if I said... Okay, so it's going to be going straight there. Let's try that again. So, if we had it going straight like that. Uh, I should have put, you know what, I should have put that in flat, shouldn't I? Yep. So, if we put that in there and say be flat and bring you out Okay, it's going to collide with that. But that's that's the kind of thing I'm going to have to do there. All right. So we just need we just need like just a shade on here. Uh, let's go. that 
that should work with a bit of luck let's see does it no it's oh, just there oh man come on don't be awkward with me Come on, come out, come out, fraction. There we go. That's the straight line that I wanted. All right, so now, please work. Yay! All right, so we'll bring it out so that it lines up with these switches there, because I want the curve ideally to match the curve of the railway. So if we have the end of this lined up with these switches there, we should get a similar curve. So that goes in, and then this. We want coming around something like that. And you know, having a little cliffy edge on the edge of there would be kind of nice. Uh, we don't want you going up, we want you running flat. Oh, okay. Well, that's not doing what I wanted. Do I, I think I need to put that back in. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I put that bit in flat. Bonehead. Try again. God, can you, sp I mean, I don't know, some of you We'll probably go, yeah, man, like, get on with it and whatever. But like, for me, this is the cool stuff. I love playing around with this and getting it just right. And getting the looks exactly the way I want. Yeah, th like that I really like. That I really like. All right, cool. So what do I want to do? I just want to fill in this little bit. So I'm You know what, that might be good enough. I might have to go a little bit out there. Let's see. But I want this, uh, I do want this tight to the edge. So, yeah, I've got to go, got to go out a little bit more. Come on, come on, just go out a fraction. There we go. It's difficult because it does kind of adjust. Oh, I've actually got a bit of a curve on that. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. That'll do, pig. Right, we want you to be flat, don't we? Yeah. Is that curve right? Yeah, I'd say it's good enough. Can I come out? Just a fraction. Boom. Done. All righty. Let's bring this puppy out a bit more like that that should work I might end up going back and in fact I think I am going to go back and relay it in one piece and we'll see if it will actually work please work please work oh come on No, it, needs to, it still needs to come out just a fraction on that corner. The only thing with the terrain, the terrain does, like, as you do one bit, it'll look, like move a bit that you've already done. Just come out a bit, will you? Round off, round off. And come on. And you, come on. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That uh, looks. That looks pretty good. You flat? Yes, you flat. Hooray! In you go. Sweet. And then we just run you out straight alongside the track, like that. Cool. And then at that point, you can go off, like over here a bit, and hook up with that. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, what I am going to do, you know what? I was gonna, I was going to smooth this in here, but actually, that's turned out pretty good most of the way around. Um, just want to do a little bit on here. I don't want this to go down here, so let's just grab that and that. Let's see. There we go. Let's bring it up a touch. Oh, 
nice. You can tell, like when I go silent, you can tell that's when I'm really concentrating on something. I want to get this kind of just right. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, liking it. Come on. Come on, you. I want it to be a bit, I don't want it to be too even. I want it to be a little bit rough and ready. There we go. I might do this on the other side as well. Come on. Come on, you. I'll keep up game. It, you have to leave, like, in between each terrain adjustment, you have to give it a couple of seconds, which is, which does get a bit frustrating, I will say. All right, I want to do the same thing on this side over here. So you see, it's like, it's just like too even. It just needs to be a little bit rough like this. So. Like, like that, that's much better. We'll do the same on this stretch here. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Right. Uh, am I going to put some trees in? I'm going to put some trees in. Uh, let's go to trees. I've already got my trees selected. Yeah. So let's do... Let's take the strength. Uh, actually, if I take the brush size down... Ah, here we go. What I want is just a dotting of trees in the middle like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's change the brush, make the brush a little bit bigger. Have a dotting of trees over here. And uh, and again, I want it to be a little bit uneven, so. And then we'll have some trees sort of on the edge of the beach, nice. Alrighty, you know what? That's pretty darn good. I like that. Okay, let's come back over here, and we'll soften this terrain off now. So let's crank the brush size ray up. Smooth that off. How's it look? looks pretty good you know what i actually want this to look like we've we have kind of chiseled into the terrain a bit so i'm gonna grab that the and just lift this up a bit on bus come on on both sides right and then smooth it there we go what do you think you like that I might take it down like a touch especially at this end Just smooth this out a bit more There we go. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot, boys. All right. You know what? Now I could, I could like do this like really rapidly or do it in a time lapse or whatever. But I'm enjoying to talking to you about this. This may end up being, a, I don't know, might end up being two episodes. Right here, things are quite complicated. Um, I can get rid of that. Uh, and I'm going to have to get rid of these roads here. And we're going to be going out following the coast around there. So let's get rid of these puppies. All right. So how the hell is this going to work? Well, if we look at this station. I'll turn the lines on. 
we we do have one split spare plat spare spare platform here right so what i want to do is move this green line to be coming into here okay well how the hell can i do that um yeah this is you know what redoing this is gonna take a bit of doing because what i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna change these tracks to go so it's a smoother curve coming in here and then i'm gonna have to have these tracks coming over onto these and then into here so that this train can come into this platform and then i'll have to switch this over to this platform and then we want this track going out and going off there oh yeah well that's what we're going to do you know what i'm not going to rush this this is going to take some crafting going through here but i tell you what i am very pleased with this start so you know what we're going to leave it there for this episode and that gives you guys a chance to kind of comment on it and, and tell me like what you think and any ideas so let's just have a quick look at the route so you can see so we've done the first bit we've joined them up and then we're going to go round round there like that farm's going to have to go th uh, around there and then i'm thinking it comes um somehow across here clips the tip of that island and goes there but i don't know it's kind of tricky either that or i could come out this side and then go across there which might be better in which case that that would have to go as well <laughs> oh this is gonna take some doing and then like and even when you get to here it doesn't get any easier because like to to go round that way i don't know maybe it maybe if i put a tunnel through there maybe and then bring it round that's going to be a very tight curve though or i could bridge across the bay Again, if you've got if you've got ideas, if you've got suggestions, and then we're going to come. Oh yeah, I think we're going to have a tunnel through there. Then we'll follow the coast round and come into the into the station there. That's the plan. If you want to see that in action, come back for the next episode. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you'd like to do, or comments on the airports or anything, and I'll catch you for the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.